Epidemiologic studies are designed and carried out in a scientific manner. However, even the most rigorous studies are prone to error and unintentional bias. Grab a buddy because we're taking you on a terror-filled adventure to learn all about errors and bias. Error and bias and confounding, oh my. When we talk about error, we are referring to errors in the system, not errors due to random chance. By this, we mean that there is an inaccuracy in the way something is being measured or observed. These systematic errors present serious concerns to the validity of our study. We're not clowning around here. Just take a look at this uncalibrated ruler. <laughs> Yikes. Bias is a systematic error that leads to an inaccurate measure of association between exposure and disease or other outcome of interest. It's feared by the scientific community because it distorts the truth by overestimating a measure of effect or underestimating it. Bias can cause us to make false conclusions about risk of disease when no such risk exists. So, it's very important to recognize potential biases and use the best research methods to try and eliminate it. We're going to make it really easy to find your way around all types of bias, hence the three-directional wayfinder for this adventure park. Really, there are just three types of bias. Selection bias, information bias, and confounding, hence the confounding cloud. Confounding is a third factor, C, that distorts the association between factor A and factor B. Don't worry, we'll help you navigate the world of confounding in a separate lesson.